As a baby, my first word was Alex. He was our cat. We always had a cat for a pet when I was growing up. After I moved out of my parents' house to go to college, it only took me a couple of years to decide I needed one of my own. He wasn't the cutest one at the Humane Society, but he was affectionate. It was the first time I'd seen a kitten with messy hair. Not dirty, but disheveled, like he just woke up. I named him Oliver. At 26, I think I'm too young to technically be called a cat lady, but I won't deny that I'm pretty sure Oliver understands English. I know he loves cantaloupe, and I have a rule that I will never date a guy who's allergic to cats. Unless you have one of your own, you might not understand, but there really is something special about the bond between a person and their pet. I believe it's an important part of life. As much as cute kittens are all over the internet, I won't make any apologies. I get it. There's a stigma about women and their cats, but it's perfectly acceptable for a dog to be a man's best friend? Well, I'm standing up for the cat lovers. My life wouldn't be the same without them, and I can't imagine coming home after a long day and not being greeted with a friendly meow.